jännä paikka. Joku on tehnyt sisänä tulon. Asiakas on tehnyt. Joku bibliomaanikko on ollut ja sen on pakko murtautua kirjastoon. Tän kirjakauppaan niin saadakseen päivittäisen fiksin runoja. Where's the bookseller? Olisikohan kuollut? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Psykoanalyysiä tässä tarvitaankin. Joskin tosiaan niin kuin esimerkiksi Unet on aika tärkeässä osassa. Tuulossa. Haha. Joo. On vähän ehkä... Noin. Hiire her herkkyyttä vähän alas, niin ei oo ihan... Heilu ympäriinsä niinku... Tiedätte kyllä mikä. Dark Materin historia. He merihirvi, joka on syönyt kaikki valaat. Tää meni nyt vaan kirjojen lukemiseksi sitten. Medi sinne nousee hitaasti, mutta varmasti. What happened here? Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. Tyyppi, joka ei aikaisemmin mihinkään murtautunut pois tolleen tehnyt. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed all these animals? Well, it's a torakoita. Nine on top of torakat. Ah. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Näki kohan se jotain. What the... Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Jonkun necrocomiconin sinne pistetty. Necrocomicon eli kuolleiden vitsien kirja. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Todennäköisesti. 
What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Kultane symboli kans tossa noin. Mut aika paljon rahaa. 230 luvulla. Egyptiläinen. Alright, we open the safe. Onko täällä vielä jotain muuta tutkittavaa? Terve, terve! Tai ei terve. Itse asiassa varsin sairasta touhua. Tämä tulhun pelaaminen. Mikähän koodi siinä oli? 166. Niin. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination Noniin. of his Noniin. safe. Jännittääkö? Ihan pikkasen. My intelligence and find the combination of the safe. Or there is the pleasure of free sympathy or the delight of the imagination. Most precious possession. Life and study combine the Greek world. Hmm. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Hehe. <laughs> How many volumes are there in this collection? Arkham is the coolest. Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? <laughs> Hyvä kirja. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Things are not looking good. Mm, well, I could not have you. Looks to shock him, Matty. Looks to shock him, Matty. Why, Jongo? Hit kid. Looks to niko kuningatar. Sinun lähetti tosiaan tuossa. Ei näytä hyvältä kyllä. A kind of chalice. Jaha. Pekalloa. Muuta tuossa on gramofoni. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the Grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. It is a chalice of knowledge. Mitäköhän tästä pitäisi ymmärtää? Jes, 
punaista kiveä. Kymmenen vihreätä. Ja sinisiä on... Kymmenen sinistä. Okay, punaiset. To be the guardian of the Grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. The Chalice of Knowledge. Okay, there's only five, five keeper. Five keeper. Finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Our numbers dwindling. The queen has little protection. Yo, Nina Nelia, the queen, the plus plus, that no, the queen. The queen has little protection. Neljä tai kolme, en oo ihan varma. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Volume nine, as a thought and other horrors seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Volume 9, eli tota noin... Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about. What did Drake say about this? Drake talked about a particular volume. Uzi. Eikö tää on... Joo, tää on ysi. Asatot ja... Other Horrors. Pikmin Derby. Hmm, niinpä tietysti. Pitääks tää on olla kaheksan? Se saattaa olla ysi numero. Ei. Okei. Okay. Jos oli kolme, kuningattarella oli kolme su suojaana. Jos on nekronomikoni. Pikman on tuttu mies, kyllä. Hän, hän on tuttu mies. Kuka paljon sanityötä on menettänyt tää kaveri tämän seikkailun aikana? Sauronin vihreä silmä. Jaha. 
jätit juuri muinaisen kiirauksen. Hy hyvin menee, Herimanni. <tos> ja takaisin vielä sairaalassa. Niinpä tietysti. Tämä ei olisi tullut, jos ei päädyttäisi. <tos> Tuli mieleen Skyrimin DLC, missä piti Hermaa jos Moran kirjoja lukea. Joo, Herman Mora on vähän... Tai siis Herman Mora on sellainen neutraali, neutraali tulhu monsteri siinä maailmassa. Että hän, se vaan haluaa tietoa, että siltä saa myös tietoa, jos sulla on jotain vaihtaa. Mutta tietysti niinku... Hyvin Lovecraft, siis kaikista Lovecraft-mäisin oikeastaan Herman Mora. Ää, tosiaan Elder Scrollsissa sellainen tentaakkelihirviö. Sen, sen niin kuin oma, oma realm on vaan niin kuin joku valtava kirjasto. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. What? He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Very well. I'll examine him. Thirty-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Mm -hmm. Tender at the touch. Slightly Joo, sticky. Joo, body swap tuli. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, doctor? An opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. I'm almost worthy Some doctor. of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Hmm. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's edema. not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, uh -huh. this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him. Yo, yo, you eat him. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. But the edema will go away by itself. You know. I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Hmm. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. 
Ter- Sairaanhoitajahan ei saa ajatella I see tähän signs aikaan. Of hypodermaclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. Uh-huh. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he seemed to feel better. Yes, like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. Aha. But that doesn't Down explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Mystery don't diagnosis. tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I've done to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. Right. No, doctor. This patient isn't himself on anymore. Pahisio. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? Mix, mix is not like cephalopod, me <laughs> <This amuses you. laughs> Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. Huh. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. Hmm. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. Oh. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. Right. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Oh, kaverista on tulossa Turska. This place draws you in and never lets you go. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Hmm. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah? Come and help me, please. 
His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Hey, Nanuha. Could this have been avoided? Well, Mrs. Sanders? Oh, God! He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, oh, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Hmm. What is the boiler room key doing here? Boiler room. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Se ei jostain syystä ottanut sitä mukaansa nyt. Tuota. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. His binds left bloody wounds. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? You did good work. The tranquilizer is kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, doctor. And as to his weight loss? I'll prescribe an antifungal treatment for his dysgusia. In the meantime, feed him intravenously. It'll be done. Fullerin toimistoon pitäisi päätyä. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. 
And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Hmm. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Lääkehylly näyttää vähän tyhjältä kyllä. Ei ihan pitäis olla tollanen kuin. Seudun scientific work. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't... Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. Busy, I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the ah, problem. Sen takia. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Ah, no, kimisjärjestys. Täällä ei ilman ylihoitajan lupaa mennä vääntelemään vesiä päälle. Kuitenkin menee ihan tahallaan pistämään vesiä pois päältä. Joskus. Nykyaikaista hoitoa. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. I don't have any business in the boiler room. Biela. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Mm. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Distract Donovan, cut off the water. Ah, ha, ha. Onneksi tiedetään, niin kuin missä se avain on. Katsotaanko me jo täällä? This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Huh. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. What is the problem? 
Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. She's not, not Anyhow, so they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. Niinpä tietysti. Jaha. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Ah, police right? Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? No. Look, I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. They keep me awake, every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. Hmm. With everything that happened to you these last days, it's no wonder you're feeling stressed. Maybe. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. He could kill us all. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. That they will cut the abuna. Mister, he left us some kind of tool to hand me. Who pays? What a pest! It's so unfair. Tell him it now. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. Get us the best. 
siis samaa taloa, samaa paikkaa. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Tästä me aloitettiin. Kestää. Vessa. Ha. Monkey wrench. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Um. Päähoitaja ei ole enää täällä. Joo, ei ole. The last. The missing Noin. files must be hidden here. The Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Tohtori on ilmeisesti tehnyt jotain oikeatakin työtä joskus. Mutta on vaan rääkännyt. Tilaita. Ne tietenkään pöydällä voi olla. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Ah, okay. Ah. I've unlocked something. Näin helppo. Patient files. I was right. Conclusions, session number 17. Patient, Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. Mythos, hmm. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I'm right that Charles was keeping secrets from him. Uh -huh. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Right. I am prepared. Miksi Charles murtautuisi näiden... Kellari. Miksi tää on auki? Täällä on jotain. Hawkins, Fitzroy and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. 
In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Why is Ethan on medication? Of course! Sarah Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. Sairaala, jossa on ovet auki. Nice. Yeah. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's that's time it to then. show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh. Yeah, huh? If you're gonna shoot me. At least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Oh, oh, mist kirjakaupan omistaja elimistö paikalla. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right, Gossip. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins mansion. Now go! Rescue the doctor! Thank you, Drake. Doctor Golden on pahassa pulassa. <laughs> <laughs> 